Since 1958, we've celebrated Law Day each year by reflecting about our legal system and the importance of the rule of law. This year, Law Day also marks two important events in history, the 50th anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech and the 150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. President Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation during the Civil War to proclaim that all people held as slaves in Confederate areas that were in rebellion were to be forever free. As the Union Army advanced through the South, more and more slaves were actually emancipated. It's no coincidence that Dr. King chose to deliver his speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial 100 years later. He reminded us that although the slaves had been freed, the nation had yet to deliver fundamental civil rights for all of its citizens. Dr. King noted that when the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note, he said, was a promise that all men, yes, black men as well as white men, would be guaranteed the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Both the Emancipation Proclamation and Dr. King's famous speech required legislation to bring about lasting change. The 13th Amendment, which won a narrow victory in Congress in 1865, abolished slavery in our nation. And a century later, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 addressed segregation, unfair voting practices, and other forms of discrimination. In the nearly 50 years since, we've witnessed remarkable improvements, but there is still more to be done. Inequality, discrimination, and even human trafficking, a form of modern day slavery can still be found. And their victims look to all three branches of government to address those problems. The legal system has a special obligation in this area. It must provide a fair forum to address cases that raise injustice. And more subtle forms of injustice must also be challenged. With that in mind, the New Jersey Supreme Court Committee on Women in the Courts, on Interpreting Services, and on Minority Concerns have led the nation for decades to ensure that all who come before the courts and all who work for the courts are treated fairly. The judiciary also recently created a Supreme Court Committee on Access and Fairness. New Jersey is a diverse and dynamic place, and we must take steps to make sure that everyone who comes into contact with the courts is treated with dignity and respect. The court system must be accessible to people who do not speak or understand English, and self-represented litigants should have helpful guidance about how to access the courts. In the end, people should not only understand court proceedings, but they should also feel that they have been heard. And they should walk out of court after a decision is rendered with the sense that they have been treated fairly and respectfully. That's how we build trust in our courts, through sustained efforts at increasing access and fairness. Dr. King was right when he spoke about the ideals of democracy and equality on which our nation is founded as a promise we can all rely on. This Law Day in particular, please take time to reflect on Dr. King's inspiring words and President Lincoln's proclamation. And then take a moment to think about what you can do to make sure that we live up to the promise of equality for all. Thank you very much.